Skywork AI has launched Sky Reels A2. So this is a video generation model. The idea over here is that if you give a set of reference images, these images could have objects, a person and a scene, it can generate a video. So see this example over here. So there is this glass of wine, there is this lady and there is this beach setting. This is the generated video, right? It can also do multiple characters generation as well. So you have this beach scene, you have these two characters. This is the video which has been generated. So there are several use cases which they say over here. Uh, you can have a human subjective background triple. So Skyreel A2 enables character objectives and background reference image to composite natural videos, right? So you have an umbrella, this lady and this particular place, right? And this is the video which has been created. You could have multiple humans also. So Skyreel A2 also supports multiple human reference composition, creating high quality interactive videos. So here is Donald Trump and Taylor Swift in a video. Right. Um, so these are some demo which they have over here. This is a virtual e-commerce application. So important application of Sky Reels A2 is the ability to generate corresponding recommendation scenarios based on the anchor and the product images and a scene. Right. So they have these examples over here. Steve Jobs with the iPhone. Okay. These videos don't really look natural to me at least. Uh, the way this product placement happens over here, maybe a little bit more nuance is required. But these are some examples which they have over here. It can also highlight effectiveness in building music multimedia creation scene. For example, there is this guitar, the lady and there is this scene. Somehow all these videos don't have audio. So I'm not sure if audio is being generated. It's kind of disabled over here. But they are saying that music can be generated. So I'm not sure. This model has been released on Hugging Face. It has an Apache 2.0 license, which means that you can use it for commercial purpose. It makes of the van image to video pipeline. And if you look at the model which has been released, it is based on van 2.114 billion preview. Okay. Uh, so you would require uh, at least 80 GB graphics card to run this particular model. Because if I look at the size of transformer model inside, it's a good close to 16, not even 16. It is close to 24 GB over here, close to 30 GB, I would say. Uh, yes, close to 30 GB. That is just your, uh, what do you call, transformer. Then you have your image encoder, which is close to, you know, 2 GB over here, 1.26 uh, GB. Then you have your text encoder, which is another 4, 3 is a 12, plus 5, 17, plus another 20 GB. So you definitely require an 80 GB or, yeah, 80 GB graphics card if you are to run this particular pipeline. Let's look at the architecture of Sky Reels A2. So if you look at the architecture over here, you have a clip vision encoder for the reference images. You have a 3D VA encoder. This is the diffusion transformer block. You have a 3D VA decoder. Now let's try to understand what happens over here. So the reference images uh, go through two distinct branches. The first is spatial feature branch, which is this part. And there is a semantic branch, which is this part. Okay. So the spatial feature branch leverages a fine grained 3D VAE encoder to process per composition images. Uh, the semantic feature branch utilizes a clip vision encoder followed by MLP projection uh, to encode semantic references. So it also takes the text prompt and gives it to the MT5 uh, encoder Okay, for this part to get the semantic features extracted. Now uh, in the bottom part what happens is that subsequently the spatial features from the reference images are concatenated with noise video tokens. You also have the video input coming over here right to this VAE encoder and you have cross attention and self attention in your diffusion transformers to actually take care of the semantic context and the uh, spatial features and the output of the diffusion transformer is given to the 3D VAE decoder to get the video output. So this is what happens over here. Okay, so they have explained how they have created the training data set over here. So they have a video data pre-processing pipeline where they do initial video screening and selection, video source, video tag, video type, video resolution. Um, then the videos are split by keyframe. They have an in-house proprietary multi-expert video captioning model which generates holistic descriptions of video clips and structured concept annotations. Subsequently, detection and segmentation models extract visual elements like human object environments. Then they also have, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? semantic segmentation to identify the human, um, the facial um, attributes, facial um, detection and human parsing over here. 
to get from the image okay so based on this they create a training triplet which looks like visual elements video clips and textual captions okay that's what they have done in the data pre-processing pipeline for training okay so here they talk about data set and then they talk about um, their you know uh, evaluation uh, benchmark so they have created something called as an a2 bench for evaluating these kind of models okay that's what they talk about over here i'm looking to see if there is any further details of you know the experimentation uh, like what kind of baseline they used over here they talk about is fine tuned from a video for generation foundation model based on the dit architecture uh, 84 which is this which is van so they've used the van foundation model as the uh, baseline architecture what you call video diffusion transformer model right so that is what you see over here also it is a van to image uh, van image to video pipeline okay now let's look at how it happens during inference i explained the training part what happens during inference you have reference images you have text prompt you don't have video input basically right uh, so you have these noise tokens which are generated and based on uh, uh, the particular reference images, text prompt and these noise tokens which are generated, you get your video output. They also have a playground where you can try out, but I'm not sure if A2 is deployed over here. It somehow points to A1, the previous generation model. So this was a short video about Skyreel's A2, which is a video generation diffusion transformer model, which can generate videos based on reference objects, plus a reference image of a person or it could be multiple persons plus scene images and it can generate videos for you. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.